I often go through bouts of high motivation and productivity to intense burnout and frustration. This is especially true when there's a new year, a new month, a new week, and whenever I feel the sudden urge to start fresh, which is very, very often. I plot out the narrative for my life I want to live and the person I want to become, and my impatience insists on doing all things immediately. It works for a while, but like all things, we need time to rest and recover. So I spent some days doing things I knew would bring joy. First and foremost, going outside. If you don't already know, I'm obsessed with the sun. When I look to the skies, I am reminded of the smallness of myself and the fragility of life. The expansiveness of the sky makes me feel as though everything and anything is possible. Seeing the endless sky and the nature of the world makes me reflect on myself. It's a reminder to slow down and enjoy the gift of the present and appreciate the short timeline of our lives. Speaking of reflecting, I can always count on journaling to make my restless mind feel a little bit more at ease. It's a habit I try to practice daily because I know it makes me feel more reassured. When I was younger, my sister would always laugh at me for talking to myself, but I guess journaling has become a way for me to talk to myself once more and remind myself I'm doing okay or just rant out all my frustrations. There are certain things I can always count on and doing my skincare routine is one of them. It almost feels like a ritual. You wash your face and spend some time taking care of the external layer of your body that protects the complexities of yourself. Along with skincare is getting ready in general. This is something I've been slacking on throughout quarantine because it's just easier to wear hoodies and sweats all day every day when you're staying home. But it's nice to put on makeup for yourself, wear a piece of clothing for yourself, and enjoy the simplicities of getting ready. Dressing up makes me feel like a person rather than a human potato. One of my main goals in 2021 and life in general is to live with more intention and balance. And meditation makes it something that is realistically possible rather than proclaiming it into a void. You'd think sitting in silence and stillness for 10 minutes a day wouldn't do much, but meditation does wonders. It doesn't even have to be meditation, like sitting down and closing your eyes and breathing. In all honesty, taking ballet bar is another form of meditation for me because I can finally stop thinking and get in touch with myself. Along with ballet, moving my body and exercising in general makes me feel so, so much better. The hardest part is always getting up and starting, but I always feel better after a good sweat sesh, no matter if it's cycling, boot camp, or just jumping up and down. Sometimes it can feel like I have to work out, but it's good to remember that I get to work out. I get to move my body and generate endorphins, and I know it's something I'll take for granted when I hopefully am an old, old lady. Along with working out, it often feels like I have to eat healthy. But in reality, eating whole foods make my body feel good. I feel energized and happy after nourishing my body. And sometimes I'll indulge in things I know will make me feel physically regretful but emotionally satisfied and that's okay too. Eating is, in many ways, a social activity and I miss socializing. Meeting with friends on the weekends and allowing conversations to stretch for hours. Although we're not able to engage in those activities lately, we still have FaceTime or Discord calls. No matter the medium, friends always make me feel more myself. Yay! On the flip side, sometimes it's really, really nice to just stay home, avoid people, and immerse yourself in stories. Lately, I've been watching a lot of movies and dedicating a few hours to the lives of the fictional characters. It doesn't really matter if it's a movie or show or a book, but stories will always, always hold a soft spot in my heart. And I can count on the worlds within pages to make me feel at home. Lastly, or at least in this list, is creating in general. I guess I've always been an artist at heart, no matter the medium. When I was younger, it was primarily ballet, then digital work like Tumblr edits, then blog posts, Instagram photos, YouTube videos, and beyond. Nowadays, I've been enjoying creating pen pal letters. There's something really satisfying about making small physical gifts for friends. Many of us often feel overwhelmed, unmotivated, or a plethora of other negative emotions. And me, being my type 7 self, always thought it was something to hide or quickly supplement with a burst of positive reframing. But it's important to acknowledge that it's okay to feel and experience negative thoughts. We're human, and that's bound to happen. But to my future self and everyone else, 
It's okay. You'll be okay. Put on some good songs. Do things that spark joy, even and especially small things. Tomorrow is another day. Sending love, Alexandra.